What's going on guys, Seth here for Tasty Loot Gaming, giving you a TLG Reacts to The Last of Us Part 2 State of Play for PS4 that came out two days ago, May 27th, I think. Three days. It's been a while. It's been a couple days. Uh, I'm going to react to the whole thing in its entirety, so hang out with me. Um, this came out, I heard a lot of good things, and uh, I'm excited to watch it. Uh, just so you know where I'm coming from, uh, Last of Us is one of my favorite games ever made and my excitement for this game uh was very high it still is pretty high um after some of the leaks that were ruined for me uh came out i have my concerns but i will still be picking this game up no matter what and giving it an honest go and um playing through it and uh giving you guys my honest opinions on it when i do that uh and at the very least i know this game is going to be awesome gameplay wise graphics wise uh you know Everyone who, who was in the last game um, did a great job in the acting department. Uh, Neil Druckmann is a great writer, great director, um, and Night Dog is a talented, talented, top-tier dev. So, uh, you know, at the very least, this game is going to be awesome to play, and I hope the story is great. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm coming from. I will be picking this up no matter what, so uh, just because, you know... I am that fanboy of the last game and Naughty Dog's prior work, though I do have concerns about where that company is going uh, as of the last couple of years. We'll see. Companies go up and down constantly, um, but all I can hope for is The Last of Us 2 will be awesome, and um, you know, I assume, I assume it will be. I hope it will be. Um, yeah, so let's jump into this and uh, see what they show us in this trailer. Peggy, 18. Good old Peggy. I like that State of Play is doing these, like, big showcase State of Plays lately. I know lately. you wish things were different. Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us Part 2. Very cool. I wish things were different. Ellie! They ain't. Please stop. I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, looks so good. Do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. I want what you want. But not at any cost. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. I'm Neil Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and the Director of The Last of Us Part Two. Controversial. We're just a few weeks away Man. from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. The wait has been long. Look at the water. We're extremely grateful for your patience. Especially now, the in the splashing. midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves, and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different. Something we've never done before.
Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're after to give day you an at work, I'm look like... into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part 2, including new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never before seen lengthy gameplay sequence. Cool. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. Boca looks great. What lens are you using, dog? I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a sure. cure. The only catch. It would kill her. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Love Jackson music. has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of one to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? However, Solid six this and peace a half. is short-lived. Not too bad, but could be better. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution Lush. and justice. Look at the blur effect down there. Her journey will take her to Not new out parts there. of the Looks country, great. previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Welcome. Welcome to my post apocalyptic hellhole that I live in. environments for you to navigate and explore. Rendered in meticulous detail this is what unprecedented scale Seattle and Washington with the latest looks iteration like of the Naughty Dog engine. Right now. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. That's cool, because no one's nailed Seattle yet. Much of the I story understand why in New York for a long Seattle, time they kept putting games and people like, this looks like shit, this looks like shit. I'm like, I don't know, I've never been its there. Its locales are incredibly but diverse, Seattle? spanning a dense city Can't center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. Cool. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narrows. That's cool. A little bit of Uncharted. These more open environments also create new strategic considerations in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. This is what I'm most excited for gameplay-wise when it comes to this game, is the amount of, the Last of Us like, being able to lay down, the crawl under shit, swing played. around, like, all these different Horseback things riding for strategy, will allow awesome. to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Very cool. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate them. However, happens. the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. In the wake of oh, the pandemic shit. and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone, where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. That's happening right now. One of He's these groups wrong. is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, hmm. and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another trespasser, a girl. I love how fucking, like, I've, I've never seen, like, a neighborhood in a game look that overgrown. Like where like it's dark and the, the other side of this so much conflict is a group foliage. of religious zealots so cool. called the Seraphites, or scars, defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. And they're actually nailing, like the WLF, like, they're deeply the rainforest look of Washington, territorial. which a lot of people don't. They're do known well. for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use That's more cool. silent weapons like bows and arrows. Clip her wings. <laughs> Ah! 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 
But beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. Oh, shit. They are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part Two introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shambles. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustules. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns Gross. its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Overcoming these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you even while in cover. They're kind of repeating a lot of the stuff they've already talked about, but it's kind of good to have a small one spot to explain presence. the whole thing, but some of this, so much of the shit I already Listen read mode about. will reveal your centrail, so keep moving fight. and cause distractions to avoid detection. They could be hiding anywhere. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. Yeah, I love that. However, I mean, it's such a simple thing, but so many games don't allow you to never fully hidden. crawl around. If enemies I like a lot of tactical enough, games, tactical shooters, stealth grass. games, stuff like that. That when Ellie is this kind of thing is, is, running away is, is big a for me. Option. Gives you more options. You can also break play. class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade or take on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and re-establish stealth to regain the advantage. That's something I loved about the first if game. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Yeah, you're Ellie's shooting, agile, you're hitting people, killing people. Enemies. I like to play stealthy, so a lot of times I'm sneaking around and shit. If it's attack. bad, you can Learning how opponents get attack away. with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from yeah, taking see, damage awesome. and create opportunities that to counter was attack. Awesome. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies before Ooh. dealing a killing blow. Or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Ooh, that was that was wild. I, they already talked about how everybody's got a name and they'll talk and shit, but that was kind of interesting. But allies will take part in helping you navigate the environment, hear them spot kind of talk enemies, about the scenario and meaningfully that's help you in combat encounters. Damn. Whew. I love it. I love it. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. This red area they keep showing, I assume most of this is all early game. You can game, choose whether to attack these showing, opponents separately but, uh, and directly, the lighting or is so good. find ways to pit them against each other. They also came out and said this Please is going to be fight or playable wait until PS5, their have thinned out which is really cool to hear. I'm wondering if it will, at launch, out graphical upgrades if you play on PS5. Damn, that is fucking creepy. Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that Those give you greater control running like hardcore and influence over your shows. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment I love how and scavenging for ingredients. Deteriorated that body is. These skills like it's, it's and just upgrade manuals now, cater to a variety like the, of play styles. A little bit of the skeleton. And the choices one. you make will create your own distinct experience. Fuck, disgusting. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Playing a lot of hunt, like me a Scavenger fucking bolt action. To modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your. Oh, character. that's cool! You actually see her put it on. It's those naughty dog details, man. Man, the only thing that's gonna hurt this game is the fucking story. 
Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, and more. All of these gameplay systems God are meant damn. to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. I want to know about that dude's emotional journey. That was scary. <laughs> As we've said before, silly. this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play. Yeah, I can tell that so much of this is like fucking early on shit. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. I'll be there. Until then, Just here's an extended story, sequence please. of never-before-seen gameplay. Enjoy. See you. Let's do this. People on Twitter were talking about this like crazy, acting like that fucking. They're pretty much doing that. They fly now. They fly now. Only it's like she fucking swims now. I love the small detail of the, the arrows actually in the backpack. I wonder if that's a legit count of how many arrows that they have at the time, or if it's just aesthetic. Didn't let you know that you have them. I'm just sitting down here in a flooded basement by myself, just hanging out. It's a good place. Very relaxing, all the quiet ambient sounds of people swimming up behind me. Soothing. Oh, headphones. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Is he? Is he? Is he? Playing a video game? Sure, yeah. Where is she? Ask her what she's playing. We're in the hospital. Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. Shit. Ooh, fucking. That was dumb. Yeah, that was gnarly. Look at the game, though. What is she playing? That's why when there's a person creeping around, killing people. It's the worst time to be down in the basement by yourself playing video games. Word is we're almost wrapped up. Good. I got my girl waiting for him for five. You shit me? They put you with Joe again? Hey, we get the job done. It looks so good. I bet you do. And look at the windows. Oh, not fair. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like scars are getting closer. I bet that's our guys executing those freaks. Hey, did you hear about all getting called up to the pub? Damn. I heard that Isaac wants us to retake all of downtown. Should have assessed the situation yeah, a little bit more, but yeah, run. nice shot. Oh, no way. Not after what went down last time. Oh, that's interesting. Even Isaac, isn't that crazy? That's what I heard. Calm down. <laughs> hey, calm down. Okay, I will. I'll be a lot more calm if you're not a threat anymore. They really they really meant it when they said they wanted you to like think about it every time you kill somebody. I 
hope the AI is fucking good, though. I know I, it's gonna be decent at the very least, but like, I hope it's really advanced. I want to be able to actually not have them always tracking me, me no matter what. Like, if you've been hiding in an area and they haven't went over to where you're at, and the game's like, well, oh, just make them go that way, just to get things rolling and see. That always kind of feels kind of lame. Holy oh, shit, that fire looks fucking great, too. That dog is flammable. That was fucked up. This place is swanky. What is this? This is a fucking. Is this a hospital? Looks like it, yep. Just like that. Really, really want to play this. Gameplay is just fucking, ooh, right in his forehead, fucking uh, just screaming me right now. Holy shit. Yeah, right in the forehead. She thought the same thing as me. Shit. What the yeah, shit? Over here. Wow, that's cool. She's affected by it. Man, everybody's like, hey, just chill out. Stop, stop all this, and you just fucking kill them all. Night Dog's trying to up that, uh, that meme of Nathan Drake just murdering countless people. Fucking with Ellie. Ellie's now a top dog killer. Top naughty dog. The most naughty of dogs is Ellie. Nice shot. Nice, nice, nice. Suppressive fire. Dude. I should play The Last of Us again. I've beaten that game like eight times, though. But it's good. It's so good. But then what if I play it and I, I remind myself of how much I love that game? And then I play this, and I enjoy playing it, but then the storyline's not that great? And I'm just, like, disappointed. Yes, it's me, Nora, in the vent, listening to music. People are very casual in this world, man. I guess it kind of makes sense because where you went, people are living until they're not, happily. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her, man. I like the detail of quietly putting it down. Even the way it was moving when she's impact like interacting with it. All this shit you don't have to do. You, could, you didn't even have to have the fucking thing to open in the first place. But they did it. Don't scream. Put that shit down. <laughs> Put that shit down. You remember me? Facial mocapping, so fucking good.
All right. Um, so that was that. And uh, all in all, I have to say I am uh, very happy with what I saw. Um, of course, and we've been talking about this on the channel for fucking ever since it's, it's been even announced. Um, pretty much going to repeat a lot of things I've said already because you know, this, this is just furthering my thoughts on it in the first cool. place. But um, it's a great looking game graphically. Except for right now, for some reason. My shit got turned off HD. Um, sounds great. Um, character models are fantastic. The facial mocapping is top notch. To get um, the jump on gameplay looks the best it's ever been. I mean, I like the way The Last of Us played. Some people complain about it. Um, I don't think they got the full experience of all the things you can do in the gameplay when, when they complain about it. Of course, it's not for them. Some people don't like stealth type games. Um... But uh, this is offering Enemies more or in terms of um, of of just what you can do. Uh, even you know the small thing of being able to, to crawl and uh, having to be on the move with the dogs and you know riding the horse as we're seeing right here, um, swinging on ropes and shit, being able to traverse things, jump, climb up things. Um, you know we are getting closer into the uncharted territory, but that's fine because a human being can do these things, so it's whatever. Um, yeah, the environments look great. This is the best I've seen Seattle rendered in a game, which is awesome. Um, you know, there's like, what was it, Second Son and a couple other games that have tried to dabble with uh, making Seattle in a, in a game, and they always make it into some weird fucking island. Like, Seattle's an island out, out in the Puget Sound, and the, one of those games was like, everything looked really red, like you're on Mars or something, and every building was brick and shit, and it was, it was weird, but... um. Uh, this is, is looking pretty accurate, which, you know, might not matter to most people. But for me, you know, I live here in this area, and uh, it's just, you know, if they didn't do it very well, but whatever, they nail it, and I'd play the game and enjoy it. But um, if they can make it look similar to it, it's kind of neat, because, you know, I've been there many, many times. So to see it, see someone put the work in to make it a post-apocalyptic Seattle is something that I haven't seen, and it'd just be really neat to see. So hopefully they nail it um, aesthetically. Um they really did put a lot of work into like the lushness of, of like the foliage, um, the trees, the bushes, all that stuff, which is really cool to see. Uh, the attention to details there, of course, Naughty Dog is is uh, you know the king of this. Only few people really rival them in that sense. Uh, even you know when she's uh, upgrading her rifle, it's all happening on screen. Every little thing that she interacts with um, that doesn't need to be interacted with is there. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Everything about this game looks awesome. Um, I'm glad they avoided story uh, discussion here because that's the big hot fucking topic here when it comes to um, this game coming out soon and people who have seen the leaks and haven't seen the leaks, people keep talking about this. Um, this is where the main conversation's at. And uh, I did have the leaks ruined for me. And uh, but though, and I'm going to talk very vague here, so please, if you want to have this conversation... Uh, we can have another means of doing this. Don't spoil shit in the comments. I will delete your comment if you spoil things. Nothing personal. I don't want this game ruined for people who are trying to avoid that. But my concerns when it comes to the story from what I've seen in the leaks is, and they're out of context, so we don't know except for what we've seen. Um, there's a lot of room there for things to make more sense and be good if it's written well. Some of the things that I do think is questionable. So I do have my concerns. If it's good, though, I won't be surprised. If it's not great, I won't be surprised. So that's where I stand with it. Um, I know some people are just writing off and going, it's going to be awful, shit, whatever. I'm not going to argue with you because I'm not going to defend this game to people. If you don't want to buy this game, don't buy it. I get that. If you don't like the direction I was going, you don't want to support them, don't support them. I feel you. Um, but I want to know for sure. But I do have my concerns. Um with the story and wrapping back to where I, I was even talking about, they avoided talking about the story. They know that's the big fucking topic. They want to avoid it. They want to just ignore it and get the game out um, and get it sold. And, and I get that. It's going to sell really well. Some people thought that that for some reason a Naughty Dog game is not going to sell well because people are angry. It's just not going to happen regardless. So, um, you know, Naughty Dog has carved out a really, see they have the comments off here. Which is chicken shit, but at the same time protects people from fucking leaking more shit on the game. But, um, I digress. The whole situation's fucked up. Don't support the game if you don't want to. I completely back you 100%. Buy the game if you want to support the game and you want to play it. I 
back you 100%. Do what you want. Um, but yeah, avoid the story. That's That doesn't need to be talked about. Show the gameplay they did. It looks awesome. Fuck the story. Throw it out the window. Everything about this game outside of that looks awesome. It looks like it's going to be really fun to play. Watching it the whole time, I just want to get my hands on the controller and play this fucking game. The whole time I've been watching this, I'm just like, I want to play this. This looks fun. I don't care if it's The Last of Us. If there's just another game that fucking does this, looks like this, has all this attention to detail, has you taking people fucking with a gun to their head, and someone's like, hey, don't do anything crazy, and then you kill the person who said that, and they say their name. Oh, shit, you just killed my friend, I fucking know, and then you kill them. That kind of attention to detail, that visceral nature of violence is is something I've never seen in a game to that degree. And that excites me. We recently just did a Tasty Cast recently. You should watch three hours long. But we talked about um, um, addictive qualities to games. Games that make us want to play them a lot. And one of the things I said is new ways of playing. I'm a big dork when it comes to uh, genre-defining games games with new ideas or at least have advanced and evolved ideas to a point that no one else has and that first time experiencing something that I've never experienced before in a game will hook me because it's not offered by anybody else and so when I see new stuff like this some people may argue it's not that big a deal it's new there's not games doing this right now there will be but Naughty Dog's leading the way and um, that's exciting to me that's really exciting to me but I say this all the time Big tech guy. I like, I like new shit in, in tech and, and when it comes to where games are going, how advanced they can get, how close can we get to um, certain points of realism. Um, obviously, gameplay matters in games, but I'm also still very much interested in graphics, quality, fidelity, audio, you know, design, and, uh, you know, really kind of breaking down the line between games and reality. I mean, this is obviously not doing that but it's a step in that direction it's really exciting for me to see the amount of work they put into just making this happen and it's it's really it's really awesome um so yeah all in all uh, i really enjoyed this i i loved every bit of it um i am excited to play this game i am wary of the things i know about the game though um and i am i do have my concerns about night dog as a company hopefully they can course correct but um but yeah, as for this state of play, very cool. Can't wait to play this game. I'll play it, and I I hope I'm I'm just absolutely in love with it. I hope I beat it, and I'm just like, whew, okay. It's it wasn't they didn't do anything I was worried about. Um, or if there are some things I dislike, but things I like about it, I'm a nuanced dude, so I can, I'm not gonna go black and white on this. I'm not gonna go zero or ten or ten, you know, A plus or F. Um, you know, so we'll 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 feel it out. But uh, but yeah. This is coming soon. Really excited to finally get my hands on this. It's been a long time, and uh, can't wait to see where they take the story of uh, one of my favorite games ever made. So let me know in the comments what did you guys think of the Last of Us Part Two state of play? Um, are you excited for it? You're not excited for it? Uh, what are some of your concerns for the game? Please, 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 just do me a solid. Do me a favor. Just be be on my team. No spoilers. Just discuss that somewhere else. It's cool. I get it, especially if you're like fucking angry there are places that do that twitter um that's where they all do it but uh, let's just have a, a, a respectful conversation about if we're excited for this if we're not excited for this why and why not vaguely if you know details of it um and uh yeah give me your honest opinions are you excited for this game you're not excited for this game are you kind of on the fence are you a fan of the last of us or you're not a fan of the last of us and uh they said you know there's shit that we haven't seen on this game yet what are you hoping to see from this game and uh yeah that's gonna do it for this episode of tlg reacts until the next episode which will be plus club coming very soon game of the month coming also very soon uh have a good weekend guys and take it easy